Hey guys, 91 Extreme RT here with a quick video on Rift and PvP in Rift. Um, I get a lot of questions every day asking a lot of different things about PvP. Um, a lot of things that I mention in my videos, like uh, the titles to my videos. Let's start off with that. Um, when I say rank 80 PvP, that doesn't mean like a uh, level 80 character, that means prestige rank 80. Now, um, for all of you new players that aren't 60 yet, um, you won't see this, but once you hit level 60 or level cap, you can start gaining prestige points. And uh, prestige is basically your PvP level, so if you hit K and go down to your PvP tab, and you can see it right here, PvP prestige rank 80. No, you start off at rank 0. Uh, so when I say rank 80, that is max. Uh, that is max uh, tier, highest tier. PvP uh, as high as you can go so um, that's what I mean by that now a lot of people ask me what my gear is um, I have a full warlord set um, being rank 80 you kind of have to uh, I have warlords everything and everything that I can put a rune into I did uh, you want to put a vengeance and as, on as many things as you can and the rest you want to fill up with uh, endurance or your main stat like for me being a rogue it's dex so, and uh, one thing to note that the raid seal or the raid uh, crystal, uh, the T skeins for Rogue, um, it does work with your PvP set. So if you have four pieces of Warlord gear, which I have all of them, um, you can get all the bonuses from this. So uh, pick up that raid crystal when you can. Uh, same with the rings here. The rings here, I got brass knuckle uh, runes on them from the PvP vendor, plus 20 vengeance each. And. Uh, for my bow, I got the Warlord Recurve bow with attack power runes, and uh, for my daggers, I got the Warlord shivs with the attack power runes on them also. Now, you can get the Mercenary Whetstones. Uh, let me find them here. Uh, right here, um, Mercenary Whetstones increases vengeance by 100 for 4 hours, and you can put these on top of each of these weapons so not only can you have runes on them like any other piece of gear I mean this applies to everything in the game you can have runes and you can have temporary buff items on your weapons too so um, it does help like if you're a tank you can put uh, razor spikes on your shield uh, you can put armor plating on your armor uh, stuff like that so um, it's pretty extensive and I use battle masters brew now I get this from uh, sanctum I always got this from the PvP vendor in sanctum um, it's only 18 Vengeance, but 18 Vengeance is 18 Vengeance. Um, when you're rank 80 PvP, uh, you want to get as much of everything as you can. So, uh, now same with the uh, Sigil here. It's all uh, the Freelancer ones. Now, the Freelancer uh, Essences are the highest you can get uh, for PvP currently. So, um, now another thing that uh, people ask me a lot about is, because I mentioned it in one of my older videos, is that I used raid gear in a lot of my older PvP videos until I got my Warlord gear. Um, pretty much how it works, when you enter a, a Warfront, when you go to Warfront enter it, if you do not have at least a full Freelancer set, like I got Warlord, so I'm talking about the tier before this, so let's go to uh, the PvP tab here. Um, and look at the, there's Mercenary, here's Freelancer. Until you have a full Freelancer set. Um, raid gear is going to be better. Now, when I say raid gear, it has to be full raid gear. Maybe some crafted rings or crafted amulet or something like that. But the rest of your gear pretty much has to be uh, the raid set or raid pieces. Uh, because when you go into PvP, under rank 80 or under a certain amount of gear, you get a bolster buff. And it automatically puts your stats, like down here, it'll put you at like... 4,000 Valor, and it'll put you at, like, whatever Vengeance. And uh, that's what it is until you get that far uh, with gear. Uh, so your gear really doesn't matter until you have enough gear to surpass that buff that they give you. Uh, so that's why I say use full raid gear until you have a full Freelancer set because of that. Uh, because if you put uh, PvP gear on before you have enough gear to break past the bolster buff stat points, uh, you're just gonna be, it's just gonna be a waste. You're not gonna do hard, nearly enough damage. I mean, your attack power is gonna be crap, and because uh, all the uh, gear doesn't have that you know much of stats on them. The only thing you'll benefit, you might get a couple hundred, maybe a thousand or two more health out of your PvP gear versus raid gear, but the damage is gonna be 
quite substantially higher on uh, just having full raid gear. Now, if you do not have full raid gear like I do, uh, where is my tab here? I can't remember where I put shit right here. Like, all my raid gear here, um, if you don't have a full raid set, then just put on the PvP gear. Um, because at that point, you know, I, I don't know how far you people are individually, but, you know, you might just have a better benefit out of just wearing your PvP gear in general. So, um, so that is my info on that. Let's exit out of this here. Now, a lot of people ask me, what's the fastest way to level PvP, to level your prestige? Um, there isn't really a definitive answer to that other than to, um, like, go in Conquest. Get in Conquest and just grind it. Whenever Conquest is down, get your dailies done. Get, I mean, do your PvP dailies and your PvP weeklies. Them are a big booster uh, to your prestige. So, um, I guess uh, do Conquest whenever it's up. Try to get in a pre-made, uh, depending on what cluster you're on. Like, uh, the cluster I'm on, um, it's uh, Rod at Deepwood or River of Death at Deepwood. It's a good... Uh, uh, pre-made uh, channel that a lot of people use uh, for my PvP cluster uh, to join up on a team uh, to completely steamroll uh, the conquest so you can get a lot of prestige and a lot of favor uh, off of that so um, do conquest whenever you can uh, do all the quests in the PvP whenever you can the weeklies dailies uh, if you're in Port Scion um, do the uh, quests inside of Port Scion that helps a lot too um, and yeah, that's about it. And if you're on a PvP server, uh, just kill a bunch of people. I guess farm people in between, but it's always going to be faster just to do conquests whenever you can and uh, do war fronts in between and get your dailies and all that stuff done. And uh, someone asked me yesterday how long it took me to get to rank 80. Now, I PvP quite a bit, so I really didn't you know, notice the grind on it. Um, but to PvP rank 80, it took me, I would say, I mean... When I made this character like two years ago, two and a half years ago, fuck, almost three years ago probably, um, the first like ranking was like I think I believe it was rank six. Uh, then rank eight was the highest. Then they kind of changed things uh, to rank fifty uh, before Storm Legion. And uh, if you were rank eight before uh, the Infernal Dawn stuff, uh, it put you at like rank forty or rank forty-five. Uh, so you had to work to 50. Then when Storm Legion came out, it went from 50 to 80, um, which was qu quite long. And uh, the rough estimate that I, you know, give um, on how long it took to do that was about 150 to 200 hours. 150 to 200 hours. It's quite a bit of time to uh, get that. Now, that was including the time it took me to get rank 50, uh, or to get even to rank 8, like before there was even Conquest, before Conquest even existed, uh, just getting to uh, rank 8 was uh, quite a challenge. Um, I think, you know, rank 50 um, was, you know, took quite a while too. I mean, so with how things are now, with people being so geared out and Conquest full of people, and especially with experience vials, uh, favor vials, uh, prestige vials, stuff like that, um, with all that stuff, um, I'm pretty sure you could probably grind out to rank 80 in 75 to 100 solid hours of um, grinding. Now that's solid grinding, not you know sitting waiting in town waiting to do something, uh, waiting for you know conquest to come up. I mean that's actively staying in queue for conquest and PvP whenever it's available. And if you're on a PvP server, trying to kill as many people as you can in between those queues. So, um, so yeah. Other than that, hopefully this answers some of your guys' PvP questions. Currently sitting in Ember Isle because this is my favorite zone. It's an old world zone. It's right here. I love this place. It's my favorite zone ever. I think many people will agree. This place is just badass. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little PvP info video. Alright, see you later.